Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome back to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. We also create comic books. We are working on the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge where I've got my comic book. You know, the, the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge is where you spend 30 minutes a day every day for 100 days straight. Now, that may sound like a long time, but you're talking to a veteran. I've done, this is my second time. I'm not so much of a veteran because there's some people who have done it like four four times. Um, but but if you've done it once, you know what it's like. It, it is a challenge. And there's challenges out there that say they're a challenge. You know, the, you know I've talked about this before. The, I, there's this challenge called the One Marker Challenge. Have you seen this thing? <laughs> is that a challenge? How hard is that? <laughs> but, but anyway, this is an actual challenge. So you spend 30 minutes a day. Now that's not a lot of time. 30 minutes isn't a lot of time. But the way this thing was originally designed by Kevin Cross, you know him, he's the one that started this whole thing, but he had such a, oh, so many things going on that he was finding it hard to find time to work on his comic book. So he said, you know, if we, if we just 30 minutes a day, but we do it consecutively over for 100 days straight, then those will add up and you'll make some progress. So that's what this is all about. Now, you can definitely, now when I say 30 minutes a day, I should say 30 minutes or more a day because you can definitely do more and it's advantageous to do more, but the minimum you want to get in is that 30 minutes a day. That's the challenge. And also, a key element is to blog about it, to let people know. Um, YouTube, I think, is the best avenue for doing that. There's a lot of people that just, they'll do blogs or whatever, and that's cool. As long as you're, you're, you're making progress in your, on your comic book and everything, um, that's, that's the most important thing. But I think to really tap into this community, you really should do, get on YouTube and, and, and chronicle your process of doing that. So anyway, that's what this challenge is all about. So this is my book, Young and the Dead. Uh, this is issue one. I've got three issues available. I'm working on issue four, but it's a kids versus zombies story. It takes place in the 80s. So if you're into, if you like, you know, like Goonies or um, like E.T., uh, that Monster Squad, those type of things, um, that's kind of what it's what it's like. So, so anyway, so where are we in our challenge? Let's see. We are day 71. So we're 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 definitely way more than halfway. We're closing in. You know, once we get to in a few more days, we'll be at that a third. You know, th uh, three thirds of three fourths of the way. My math. <laughs> I blame it on the public school system. My math is so bad. Anyway, but that's that's where we are right now. Um, but anyway, so I, I'm not going to waste any more time today. We're going to get right to making comics. We're going to go up here to the parallelescope. It, it allows us to view alternate realities, parallel universes, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to see what's going on in one of those universes right now. Hopefully you're not bored of this particular double page spread of pages three and four that I've been, seems like I've been working on for a while, but you know, it's a pretty involved page. Um, and you know, it's all start to finish, pencils to inks, um, and it is a double page spread. But, um, but if you are tired of seeing this, you're in luck because I think I'm going to wrap this page up today. So I just got to fill in, basically fill in some more blacks and I'm kind of going uh, around and I'll, I'll kind of... One thing that I like to do with my characters, like if, if characters are more in the forefront, like I don't know if you can see the guy up above, not the panel that I'm working on, but above, and then the girl in the back of her head, uh, that's Dave is the guy, Ox is the girl. Um, since they're so much in the foreground, what, I'll, what I like to do is I, I wanna make their outline a little bit thicker. So that's just something I do, just to, and it'll kind of hopefully kind of pop them out a little, give, give it a little bit of a dimension to it. Um, but this has been a real fun fun page to do. Anytime you got kind of these sort of action or kind of exciting, you know, uh, sp spreads or layouts or whatever, um, they're always fun to do. And now I'm kind of getting further in the book, and there's some cool other cool stuff that I'm looking forward to illustrating as we as we go on. But um, it's it's nice that I'll, I'll finally be able to kind of put this this behind me and kind of move forward. Now I don't know. Uh, and speaking of moving forward, um, as you guys have been following, you know I, I pretty much penciled this one by hand, and I, I sort of made a, 
I don't know, made a deal with myself or just kind of said to myself that I was going to try to do all the the penciling or at least most of it uh, digitally in Manga Studio because I'm trying to learn that program. Um, and just the, by the nature of the way I'm working right now, where I'm finding time to work, where it's, you know, I'm finding less time to work at, at home on this stuff. Um, so sometimes I have to take a mobile and of course, as I mentioned, I don't really have any kind of mobile setup. I don't have like a Cintiq companion that's mobile. I don't have a, any kind of real, I have an iPad, but it's, it's like version one and you can't do anything with it. You can't draw on it or anything like that. No pressure sensitivity or anything like that. So plus it doesn't run Manga Studio. So, um, I don't really have any way to, to do that. So if I have time, I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to lay out some of the next page. Uh, digitally, um, but I'll probably have to go back and then fill some stuff in traditionally, and it's just gonna have to be that way at least, um, at least while the majority of my time is being occupied by editing all these videos. Once the hundred days, kind of, once it wraps up and I have a little more time because I'll be le editing less videos. I'm still gonna put out videos, but I'm not, it's not gonna be daily. So I'll have a little more time that I can sit at home and like work on Manga Studio and stuff. So we'll see, it's, good. it's still gonna be a little, uh, kind of a hybrid of both of those uh, techniques until I get further along. And hopefully eventually I'll learn it really well and I'll be just an expert in Manga Studio. And who knows, maybe someday I'll do a whole comic in it. But uh, we're gonna go uh, and take you to my girlfriend's cousin who is Russian and I don't know if it's just it's like a Russian thing, but man, every time we go over there, she's just, just got a huge spread of food and everything. And this is just brunch. This is like, this is nothing compared to what she usually does. I mean, uh, she's just, every time we go there, just amazing like, the kind of food that she serves and she cooks it all her her and her mom sometimes and it's it's really fun and I love food so it's awesome all right welcome back to the underground lair uh, if you've been watching you know what we do every day when we come back here we take the pad big pad of paper we pull off the day so this is day 71 well, that, that was day 71 because we're closing that out we're gonna toss that in the garbage I will see you guys tomorrow for day 72. I'll see you then. That is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process, now you can check out the story. Issues 1 through 3 of Young and the Dead are available at my website at surfworks.com. Also follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this series. There's much more to come.